And so we've had very much and, and very fairly put the negative side. Is there an argument to support what the Prime Minister has suggested? To Matthew Lesh, who's head of public policy at the Institute of Economic Affairs, what do you think this could bring to the equation and the problem that millions of people are encountering? Good morning, Mr Lesh. Yeah, good, good morning. I mean, I, I think what we've seen from the passport office and the DVLA over the last couple of years is, is quite frankly, a lot of slacking off, particularly at the DVLA, where there were reports about um, staff bragging about sitting at home watching Netflix on full pay. Now, I think privatisation shouldn't necessarily be used as a, as a stick. Um, if there's a good case for privatisation, I think there could be a good case for privatisation. We should get on with it. And the reason why we, we should do it, I mean, what we're really talking about here is outsourcing service delivery um, to a private company. And you could do that in such a way where you incentivize them. You say, if you turn around a passport in 10 weeks, you get additional um, pay. If you're too slow, you don't get paid for the service. You could bring in competition. You could have multiple providers of passports and licenses. That means that customers get a choice of, of, of where they're, they're getting it from. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunities. I would also dispute the, the notion that privatization hasn't been a success. We've seen, uh, as, as you've described, massive investment uh, in things like telecommunications, in railways, uh, in water, in electricity since the privatizations of the 1980s and 1990s. I think it's been overwhelmingly good for customers, um, the previous privatizations, because it's changed the incentives and it's increased competition in these sectors. And apart from those, is there anything else, perhaps more up to date, more recently, we can point listeners towards to show where privatisation can work? Well, I mean, there's, there's been a spate of privatisations right across the world. And the, the general broad evidence of it is that, um, um, unfortunately, state run companies don't tend to be the most efficient. And it's basically for expected reasons, which is um, oh, they're, they're resource constrained because there's nobody who can. Um, put enough money to invest into them, particularly some of these big nationalised industries. Um, at the same time, uh, s civil servants don't necessarily have the right incentives. You, you don't get rewarded in the civil service for working past 5pm. You don't get rewarded for working faster and better for, for improving processes. Um, and you can, you can change the efficiencies and improve, much substantially improve the efficiencies in the private sector because there are those profit-based incentives. Grateful for your time. Hope I haven't uh, interrupted your morning too much, asking you to hang on a little this morning. Matthew Lesh, Head of Public Policy at the Institute of Economic Affairs, will take your reaction to that privatisation. What you will, of course, know is that if you're desperately seeking that passport for you or one of your family or your grandchild, as we talked about yesterday, anything that speeds it up is welcome. And uh, you know what? What needs to happen is whoever runs the passport office, if you're not, if you're working from home today, and you're in the passport office, where presumably there's enormous data, uh, d danger of data being passed because of the, the data protection. Get into the office. It is that simple. We've got millions of people waiting for passport. Certainly, I would imagine hundreds, if not thousands, of people inconvenienced because they haven't got their passports. And you're working from home. It's a disgrace. If you're not in the office, I tell you, if you're not, if you're not in by uh, 12 o'clock noon, don't bother coming back. That would be my most very simple. You got till 12. Otherwise, honestly, stay at home, sit in the back garden, enjoy your summer.